everyone welcome back to my channel i am trying out a box of goodies as you can see i have some of it on my face this is the ulta beauty targeted treatments it's a ten dollar box um, i've got one of the treatments on here i'm going to wash off and then i will come back and we'll, we'll go over this box here all right i'm back uh, face is freshly washed uh don't mind the mess that it is i went ahead and did my um little faux faux I'm gonna do a video about this a little bit later and I think I'm gonna do a video on like my favorites and on my skin routine you guys can see all my stuff there anyway let me go into here and I'm gonna kind of go over some of these products and try a few more of them out so um, like I was saying this is the Ulta Beauty Lovers um, thing they have another one that is like a skincare favorites that is a sample size I had a couple of them already um, but this one was $10 and I bought it probably a month ago and I just hadn't gotten around to really trying it out. So, um, I'm just going to put this down here. Sorry, this is a very impromptu video, guys. So I'm just going to empty it out here. Uh, the video, as you can see, is not going to be the best quality. But this box, um, basically, you get sample sizes. They tell you on the back here. Um what the products are and uh, how to use them. Uh, so just keep the box, I almost threw this box out and then when I went to go use this stuff, I realized, oof, better not throw the box out. Okay, one more sample in here. All right, so what you guys saw me in earlier is this. It's the I Do Care Pure to Pour Cleansing Volcanic Ash Clay Mask. And um, I'm gonna kind of use the box to go over this. So this is a, jelly clay mask and it really is it has this I'll show you in a second this jelly consistency and it's supposed to eliminate pore clogging debris oil and leave skin smooth and fresh I will tell you my skin does feel really smooth now it feels very dry I do have dry skin but something I have been using over the last week or so has caused me to start getting uh, pimples I never get pimples like ever <laughs> I have my suspicions of what the product is that's causing it so I'm probably going to go chunk it and see if that makes a difference um but yeah I am I'm not very happy that I have a couple pimples brewing I'm gonna put my camera down here so I can open up this product and kind of show you guys it um so this is the product and it is it's like a it smells like just clean soap it is like a jelly consistency but it, it once it's on it feels more like a clay mask um, it did start to dry and it started to tighten. Um, and I can tell you guys, this took forever to wipe off. Like it, it, I had to scrub to really get it off. As you can see, my cheeks are pretty pink right now. So it is a little bit, um, if you have oiler skin, I think this is probably going to be a little bit better for those folks. It's a little, feels a little bit harsh on my skin. Um, I think you can get probably about two uses out of this, which is not bad considering. Like I said, this is basically a $10 box. So it's got six products in here. So that's not too bad. Um, the next thing, which I am not going to use today because I just don't feel like using a sheet mask, is the Ulta Beauty um, Hydrating Coconut Sheet Mask. So this is this. And it's supposed to have Pro B5 green tea extract and coconut extract. And you're supposed to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and so they say they take inspiration off of Korean um, beauty products. Uh, I think every sheet mask does that. So I don't know if that's really a new thing. Um, it doesn't say... Uh, most of these you don't rinse off the product. And this one doesn't say if you do or not. I would imagine that you probably don't. All right, next is another um, mask. This one's more interesting. This is a Freeman Beauty Revitalizing Peel-Off Mask. And it's supposed to be pomegranate plus peptide. So it's supposed to have radiance, resiliency, and refined pores. And this is, you're supposed to leave it on for five to 10 minutes and gently peel it off. So I'm, I'm gonna have to try that out. Um, I could only try out one mask. I don't think my skin could handle more. And this box is mostly masks. Um, next thing is a Neutrogena project, product, um, which I love the Neutrogena mask, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this. This is the Deep Clean Purifying Wash-Off Clay Mask. Uh, this looks like it's got enough for two applications, but it says that it's a single use, and it's got one of those 
pull things. So I'm wondering if you opened it up and wanted to use it over two points or two times you could put it in like a plastic bag and save the extras. I sometimes do that because I feel like it's such a waste to use these and then turn around and just throw them away with half the product in there. Um, so this one is, this little pod is supposed to uh, be on there for 15 minutes and then you're supposed to clean it off. And again, it's supposed to clean off dirt and oil and all that stuff. So we will see. I have high hopes for this. I love Neutrogena products. All right, the last two products uh, I am going to try on for you guys. So I'm going to put my camera down here. Don't mind the awful view. You can get a view here of my chandelier. Um, so this is the Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. And so reading on these, these have 10 radiance boosting pads soaked in exfoliating glycolic acid. Um, so it's supposed to like exfoliate and resurface your skin. So you're supposed to use it once or twice daily. Well, we're just going to use it tonight and see. Um, they did come with like a little plastic wrap and then they, <laughs> I hadn't even opened this, put another thing. So these things are like sealed to the extreme. They do not want you to get into these things. Um, I thought I had gotten all the packaging off because like I said, they had a plastic thing around it that I just cut off. All right, so these are the little pads. They're little. Um, and I'm just gonna use this to kind of exfoliate. I have a pimple there that prompted this whole, I needed to clean out my pores. It has a nice clean kind of soapy scent and it doesn't make my face burn. So this is a plus. I actually um, think these probably will go far because one of these is still I feel like has a lot of product in it. So, all right, we'll see. That's not bad. Definitely will use the skin. I'm not feeling like this is irritating my skin, which is good. I have sensitive dry skin. So a lot of um, people I see review have like combo skin or oily skin. Um, I don't feel like a lot of us dry sensitive ladies have a lot of reviews out there, but that feels pretty good. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And then the last product here is this number seven restore and renew face and multi-action serum. And it says it's suitable for sensitive skin, um, which I do have. So uh, let's see, use in the morning and the evening after cleansing. And then it says smooth on until you um, absorb it. It's supposed to be used for two weeks. Uh, it'll make your neck and face look younger and after a week, you're supposed to look a little bit more radiant. So I was trying to figure out the ingredients on this because I had run out of my hyaluronic acid that I'd been using, and I was using a different serum, which I think is the cause of my pimples. And so I was looking at different serums, and um, it is amazing how many serums have just random crap in it. Um, so this one has, let's see if there's any of the good stuff in here. It has ascorbic acid, acid hibiscus extract it does have perfume in it it does have hyaluronic acid and retinol palmate so it has a, a retinoid um, derivative uh, so there's different types of retinoids I'm gonna have to do a video on that uh, I have a science background so I kind of want to go through some of these products from my science background and explain them a little bit better but it does have hyaluronic and retinoids in it so that means it's probably going to be pretty decent of a um, of a serum. It also has ceramide, which is supposed to be pretty decent. Yeah, those are the big ones. So I think this will be pretty good. I'm gonna put this down one more time so I can apply this. So this is a teeny tiny little bottle. It is 0.16 fluid ounces um, or five mils and it, it, it is good for 24 months, which is awesome. Although this, you know, I'm <laughs> gonna go through it before then. So uh, it says for best results use morning and evening. I don't think they give any direction on like some of these serums they tell you like put them on your finger and dry them out. So it's just kind of this like lotion-y. It's a little bit more thick than your average serum. Um, I usually just put serums on my fingertips and then gently pat them in in my skin um, so that they absorb here. I'm trying to think what this smell is. It smells really good. Put some over here. 
I don't go too crazy with the serums all over my face because again, I don't like breaking out. And I find the heavier handed you are on some of these products, the more likely you're going to break out. So I just try to gently pat it into my most problem areas, which are usually the lines around here and the lines and areas around my um, mouth. And then I try to avoid my T-zone as much as possible because that's where I have my most troublesome pores. If I'm going to break out, I break out along the nose. Area. I have a spot here that's trying to break out. I never break out there. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't figure out what this smell is. It smells good. It almost has like a, like a baked good smell. I don't know. It doesn't smell bad. So anyway, I don't know if I notice any big difference. It does absorb really quickly, which is really, really nice. I'm not going to put it down on my neck today. Um, but all in all, I think that this is a fabulous deal for the, to try out some products. Um, so I do highly recommend getting it. Um, I'll have to let you guys know once I try some of these other products if I like them. But so far, the three products I tried out of the six, I, I generally like. Um, so anyway, as always guys, tell me what you think. Um, put your comments below. Subscribe, hit the warning bell. Uh, I'll come out with some other videos this week. I do have a couple of subscription boxes sitting around that I was going to review. Um, maybe do a box versus a box. Um, or that uh, I have a whole box full of $1 makeup that I bought from Miss A that I want to do like a, a trial on and see what you guys think. Um, and then I, I have a whole bunch of favorites I'd like to go over. But tell me if you think it would be helpful um, with my science background. Uh, for those of you that do not know, I am a doctor. Um, I work in an emergency room, and uh, my background before that was microbiology. So I do have quite a bit of a science background, and I, I have been doing a lot of research on these different chemicals in these face products to kind of get a better idea of what is good and what isn't. And so I was thinking about going over some key ingredients in different videos, maybe pick a product and highlight what is the key ingredient, why is it good or bad, and um, go over it. If that sounds interesting, like something you guys would be interested in, let me know. Because um, it will take a little bit more work on my part, but I don't mind doing it because I find it really fascinating. And um, so anyway, let me know if that sounds like a good idea. Um, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks.